super sweet, huh? We, unfortunately, are out of a ton of stuff because, well, you know, new house. So I have to go to Walmart because I'm the Walmart close to us does have really good stuff, keto stuff too, and good cuts of meat usually. We'll see how it goes, but I hate going there. Loathe. You know how the Grinch says, I loathe. Yeah, I loathe. It is 9.30. I got a late start. Beckett is off his schedule. We're in a new house. It's just a lot. I think for him and so he the last few nights hasn't went to bed until 10 30 which is way past his bedtime and yeah so I'm tired he's tired he's in a bad mood he put dog food in my coffee this morning anyways it's fine we're gonna make lemonade today out of all these lemons you know, metaphor I'll see you when I get to Walmart fantasy of the parking lot being completely empty. It never happens. No, no, no! Oh, in the rain! Shoot! see how I did on time. I haven't even looked at the clock. Come on. Okay, order S. Take your time. Oh, it's 1040. Man. Mm. I did good. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. We'll see. All right. I'm headed back home. See you when we get there. Okay home now and show you what I got. Some of it's just basic stuff. So, steaks and ground beef. I got two packs of ribeyes and two packs of ground beef. Ribeye. Mm -hmm. And then, so my mom got these the other day and I really like them. So they are bacon cheddar burgers. They're pre-made out and they're really tasty and they're zero carb it looks like it's just beef and cheddar cheese and then salt and bacon and just like seasonings pretty good and i back at some strawberries he's been going through the strawberries like crazy oh that's fun mac pork cracklins you say what kind of oil this is right in of course it does. Why would anybody want to know that, right? Maybe What's it does the, somewhere. Who's the company, y'all? Max. I mean, these are the ones that does the best tasting because they are actually cracklings and not just pork <clears throat> rinds. They have a lot of fat on them and zero carb, but I'm not sure. Give me one of those bags. Dr. Barry has sent me a little email. We'll find Maybe it it's on there. I, I looked and I couldn't find it. Anyhow, then I got a few of the Cornish game hens. My mom cooks these in a Dutch oven. They're really, really good. 
Duck jerky. Just for the puppy. Not for me. Duck jerky. Yeah. Refills for the soda, soda stream. And I got a bunch of seasonings because I don't have my usual stuff. So I've got everything seasoning, some mustard seed, ground mustard, celery salt, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, you know, all the all the seasonings that I use on a you know, week to week basis. It's a little bit. They're sitting on top of something that is definitely not a tripod as usual, so bear with me. <laughs> I went ahead and bought the Lily's chocolate chips because they had them in stock. Usually, if I wait till when I need them, I can't ever find them. So I just go ahead and keep them in the pantry for when I'm making uh, the occasional chocolate covered strawberry or little treats. So I got the dark chocolate, the butterscotch, and the uh, chocolate salted caramel. I've not tried these two, they might suck, I don't know. Got some bologna and bacon, lemon, bell peppers, and cabbage, because I'm going to attempt to make keto chow chow. Um, if you don't know what chow chow is, it's just, it's kind of like a relish, but instead of being pickle based, it's cabbage based, but it's really, really good. Come here, that's your something. I wish I got that reaction. Okay, so. Here's the good stuff. All right, smoked pork tails. Ooh. Got these. I've never tried that. Uh, I'm not sure how to cook these. Because <laughs> mm. it's smoked, but it's not cooked. Right? I don't I think it's already cooked. Put them in the Instant Pot. That's my plan. And yeah. then... What's that? Mm, you're not supposed to peek! Squat down. Assume the kid very nature position. All right. Smoked pork neck bones. Oh yes, we're about to make some bone broth. So these are really tasty. They don't have a ton of meat on them, so really, if you want to feed your whole family, you probably need like four packs of these. I can't remember how much they were. Neck bone, four dollars and thirty-eight cents. For how much? Um, how much is in there? Two pounds. That's not bad. So two dollars a pound. And the pork tails were three eighty four for a pound and a half. So nice. not super expensive, but like I said, you probably need to buy more than you think you do because there's not as much meat as it looks like there is. Or at least the last few times I've bought this type of thing, it hasn't. These are different brand though, so maybe maybe there's more meat. Raggy, I got him a few rib bones to chew on to keep him busy. Sometimes he gets bored. Did you see this I got you too? Oh, what's that? It's calf liver. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've heard that calf liver is better than just beef liver. I'm going to try it. I will give it a try. Garlic and butter, bacon grease, salt. How many pounds is this? Just one pound. How much is that? I don't know. Let me look. That was $3.56 for how much did I say? A pound of liver. So, not super expensive for those kind of cuts. Ribeyes were $9 a pound today. And then I also got Beckett some goat's milk. I'm gonna try to give him some milk before bed and see if that'll help him go to sleep. There's a brand that I can get in Nashville that's A2 milk. Obviously, they didn't have that here, so I just got goat's milk, which he likes either one, honestly. Then I got Kerrygold, cream cheese, the usual suspects, you know, nothing crazy. Cheese grater. <laughs> and some more dish towels from Pioneer Woman. Some more knives and just like aluminum foil, that kind of thing, so... Did I get any more meat? I thought I did. Oh yeah, I got bologna and hot dogs for bacon. And bacon! <laughs> got it. Alright, what do you want to cook for dinner tonight? Meat. Which, which meat? Any meat. Um... I really want to try those neck bones. Remember we, they were great. 
Mom made them, yeah. Yeah. But she made them in the Dutch oven. You don't like the Instapot? Yeah. She used... I think it'd be great. Let's do that. Okay. You do the necks and tails. I got some cabbage. Throw some ground beef in there. I got some... Some beef liver in there. Just a meat porridge. No. No? <clears throat> you don't have to put everything in the same pan. It's That's... everything seasoning. Oh, everything. Oh. Oh. Okay, see, you, you have just, to put everything in the same seasoning. <laughs> Boom. Touche. I walk away. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's really it. Uh, I guess we're going to cook dinner in a minute. I got to go get Beckett. He's with his grandmother. And then we're all cooking dinner here in a little bit. I'm up film it, like, for a, a different video. Okay, see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.